What up, bro? Today I'm going to review Without Their Permission by the co-founder of Reddit, Alexis Ohanian. I'm not sure if you know, but for the past three years I've had an unhealthy relationship with Reddit.com. Reddit's currently the seventh most popular website in the world and the fourth most popular website in the United States. It's known as the front page of the internet and all of the content is user generated and users vote on which submissions are most interesting. But more than just Reddit, I'm fascinated by websites that use crowdsourcing to make information accessible. Like Duolingo uses crowdsourcing to teach languages. Users on Wikipedia create an encyclopedia. Genius.com users help us understand rap lyrics. And Reddit uses crowdsourcing to create the front page of the internet by voting on the top links that are currently trending. So this is an interesting way of disseminating information. Alexis co-founded Reddit with a college friend, Steve Huffman. And Steve is the technical brain behind Reddit and Alexis is more like the hype man. I thought this book would be interesting because I'm curious about what it takes to launch a successful user-based platform on the internet. So I'm not sure exactly how to categorize this book. On the back it's defined as a memoir, but it's a lot more than Alexis's story about founding Reddit. I think it's also intended to be a guide um, for people that are interested in following in Alexis's footsteps, and it's a guide to create something that might be as revolutionary as Reddit. So the first part of this book talks about how he started Reddit, got funding for it, and also how he started another project called Hipmunk, which is a search engine for travel. In the second part of the book, he attempts to illustrate everything that you need to do to develop an idea, get funding, and create a real business. The third part is supposed to cover just about everything else one could aspire to do online. Now what he says this book is in the introduction is not quite what it really is, so I'm going to jump right into the weaknesses of this book. First of all, I'm not really sure who he wrote this book for. He glosses over a lot of topics that could have been covered in multiple books, and much of the book is basically propaganda for net neutrality. But even after reading this book, I can't say that I fully understand what net neutrality means. There's no substantive discussion. The author didn't do any serious engineering behind Reddit. So even after reading this book, I'm still not sure what he did besides go to meetings and draw the mascot for Reddit. If he intended to inspire people to create websites like Reddit, he should have gone into a lot more technical detail beyond learning how to code on Code Academy. So much of this book was spent trying to convince the reader that the internet is awesome. He tells a lot of stories in which he played a minor role to illustrate why the internet is valuable and worth fighting for. If you know about Reddit and you know about this author, you probably are already convinced that the internet is a useful tool. So I think Alexis's propaganda about the internet is not needed. On a similar note, it really bothered me by the end of the book that Alexis doesn't seem to think very critically about the internet and web-based platforms. I think the internet's a useful tool, but I know that the internet in its current state is not all rainbows and sunshine. So I would have appreciated a more balanced commentary. My last criticism is that this was the first book that he's written, and it was kind of obvious. He's not a professional writer. In terms of accessibility, I would give this book a solid 5 out of 5. It's very, very easy to read, and it's not intellectual in any regard, which I think is a major pitfall. This book is a lot of hype and not much substance. In summary, I was disappointed by this book. I think there are probably better books out there that do what this book was attempting to do, but I think there are some people that would enjoy it. I'd recommend this book to anyone that's really interested in the founding of Reddit. Well, thanks for watching my review. I sincerely apologize for posting this video two days late. Driving from Seattle to North Carolina was a little more time consuming than I expected it to be. So I'll try to keep this up though. Peace.